seen pictures of aid arriving from the West. Is that actually what's needed on the ground? Well, look, all the aid that's been given, whether it's from Gloucestershire, Wiltshire, down in Somerset, lots gone from Taunton or Bristol, it's all been really gratefully received and some of it has got through into Ukraine. But what we're hearing from aid organisations now is that actually all those vans and lorries going there can clog up the system. Of course, the supermarkets in Poland are really well stocked and what they really need is the money. So they say if you can give through uh, you know the appeals that have gone out there for money we're also hearing that, that they need linguists they need people who can speak Ukrainian and we know there's lots of people from Ukraine trying to get here. What's the latest on that? Yeah, absolutely. So we heard, didn't we, that within two days, over 100,000 people had signed up to this Homes for Ukrainian scheme. Um, many of them here in the West Country wanting to open up their homes or their second properties um, to people. Now, obviously, with that scheme, you have to know Ukrainians. And what I've been hearing over the last 24 hours is that some of the people who didn't know anybody have now been paired up, be it on social media or through Ukrainian connections, um, here in the West Country. Uh, they're now making touch with those families and then on Friday they can apply for the visas and that will mean once those visas are granted they can help bring the people either out of Ukraine or from other countries where they're waiting to come over here. Great, thanks Charlotte very much. A man has been arrested.